And here with us on Concha Valley Live, we have Rochelle Dittmore with Atmos Energy. Hi, how are you? Good afternoon. I'm great. Thanks for having me. Of course, we're really excited to have you and to tell us a little bit about Atmos Energy as well as events coming up. So first, if you just want to give us a little uh, detail about Atmos Energy. Okay. So Atmos Energy is your natural gas company. And we, I'm here today to let you know about April being Safe Digging Month. So we partner with the Texas Pipeline Alliance to let people know about safe digging. And um, April is that month, so I appreciate y'all having us out. Um, I brought with me today Gus. He is our um, safe digging um, mascot. And um, so he reminds people to call 811 before they dig. And so that's why we're here today. And why is it so important to call 811 before you dig or even know what's around you before you start digging? Exactly. So safety is what it's all about. Um, we consider ourselves, Atmos Energy considers, um, we consider ourselves a safety company and um, we want everyone to be safe and we want their home projects um, from the smallest of projects to the largest to be very successful and of course very safe. So we recommend that um, if you're doing any type of project, and so right now we're really concerned about people with their um, damage from the storm that we had, from the winter storm. A lot of people lost trees, shrubbery, things that froze during the, the winter incident. And so we want people to know that it's very important, not just with digging, a hole for a new tree or a mailbox or putting in a swimming pool, putting in a fence. It's just as important if you go to pull one of those out. So if you go to uproot a tree that's been there for years and those trees, no telling where their roots go, you need to really call 811 before you dig. And so what they'll do with 811 is you call, if you're gonna do a project over the weekend, um, we ask that you call on Monday or Tuesday um, before because it's going to take them a day or two to get out there so you need to give at least 48 hours notice and um, they'll come out and all utilities will come it's not just natural gas um, natural gas of course but you've got your water your sewer your fiber optics things like that and you don't want to be the neighbor that causes your whole neighborhood to be without any of those um, products so uh, make sure that you call before you dig and it's um, it's free uh, you all you have to do is make the phone call and give them your address and let them know what you're going to be doing and they'll take care of the rest for you so and it's the law you so you can get fined if you don't and you cause an interruption of service I hate to say it but I even think myself I'm not sure if I would if it would come to my mind to call and make sure things were checked so it's a very important thing that we all do. It is. What are some of the dangers? Well, of course, with the natural gas, you can um, cause a fire. Um, with water, you can cause your house or someone else's to flood, um, things like that. So you just want to be extra careful um, and make sure that everything, and you don't know what's in your yard, you know, um, if you haven't lived there long or if you've lived there forever, you still don't know where all those pipes are the ground pipes move and people don't understand that <clears throat> pardon me they move with the soil um, movement and so you you know it may have been over here at one point and now it's over here or it could be more shallow than it used to be so it's very important that uh, that you call and, and are safe I'm sure at Miss Energy, working there, you hear a lot of stories about things like that happening, too. Oh, yes, ma'am. We sure do. We sure do, unfortunately. Yes. Is there anything specifically other than the number or things like that that you would want the viewers to know? Um, just like I said, you may not have natural gas at your house, but that doesn't mean that your neighbors don't or that there's not a pipeline that runs underneath there. And it's just not natural gas, like I said. It's your water, your sewer, and your fiber optics that could be under there. So you want to make sure that you um, are safe, not only for you and your family, but for your neighbors as well. That is so much information, so helpful. I really appreciate you being on with us. That is Rochelle Dittmore with Atmos Energy. We will be right back with more Contra Valley Live. Do you want to be on Concho Valley Live? Follow us on Facebook at KLSC.